Hi everyone, welcome back to the Tax Super channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at how to create an Oracle Cloud account. Whenever you need to uh, uh, do any practice uh, with any Oracle Cloud service like YC, API, PCS, or the SOA CS, and whatever you want, you must have a Oracle Cloud account in place. If your organization don't have it, you can simply go ahead and then create an Oracle Cloud account absolutely free and for 30 days. So in this video, I'm going to show how to create an Oracle Cloud account. I have one more video around that, which I have created uh, way back in 2019. But this video I created, it's now old because when I created that video, it was uh, the Oracle was having the old UI. Now they have revamped the page to create an Oracle Cloud account. So I thought I should create an new video which will give you the uh, up-to-date information so let's get started and before i start i also would like to give one more useful information which will help you to enhance your skill set in the oracle cloud space i have a few courses on udemy which is designed to give you a deep knowledge of the oic so the first course oracle integration cloud in depth which is created for the integration specifically where I have a lot of examples, a lot of lectures, which I have captured myself. And that will help you to learn from very beginning, from very start, all the lectures are taken from, a, uh, you know, from my experience and captured a lot of real time examples. You just, just click on this bit.ly link, uh, not click, you just, cop you just uh, copy uh, this link and then paste into your browser window, which will take you to my course directly from where you can buy and you can see the first lecture, what all is covered in this, uh, in this uh, course. Similarly, I have another course, the OIC real-time use cases, where I have a lot of use cases, the real-time use cases covered end-to-end, -end, executed end-to-end, -end, which will help you to jump in into your OIC space. And this is accessible on this uh, link. Uh, uh, so when you complete this course, you will be able to crack your uh, interviews. You can mention all the these use cases in your CV, which will help uh, which will help your CV to shortlist from a different employer. I have a two more courses dedicated to the Visual Builder Cloud Service. Uh, so where I have, I'm teaching the Visual Builder Cloud Service from very beginning and will take you to the deep of this. And then the Process Cloud Service, uh, The this is dedicated to the Process Cloud Service. This is a part of OIC. Another course is uh, API PCS course, which will help you to learn API PCS end to end. One more thing, uh, you can become member of my YouTube channel where you will get three different perks, the phone call on demand, web session support, proof of concept. You can join my YouTube channel. You can become a member of my YouTube channel. And this, uh, this is the link. Uh, this is a YouTube link, which you can see what are the benefits you will get as part of the membership. So let's get started. So before you use any service of a Oracle, Oracle Cloud, you have to subscribe the Oracle Cloud account, whether you create it or your organization create it. So if you if your organization don't have it and you need to practice a couple of things, you need to learn a couple of things on Oracle Cloud, you can go ahead and then create an Oracle Cloud account absolutely free and uh, you can get the 30 days free trial account. Once you create an Oracle account, account, what you will get, you will get US dollar 300 and there are few services which you will get absolutely free, free for hour. You don't need to pay anything and you can enjoy these services which are few, which are free lifetime, lifetime. You don't need to pay a single rupee. So once, once uh, uh, for to create an Oracle account, account what you need you need a unique email address which you have not used earlier and then a valid mobile number on which you will get a otp while creating an oracle cloud account and a credit card which you need to enter at the last step so why a credit card is required credit card is required for the verification purpose only you will not be charged until and unless you upgrade your account as a paid account you will be charged initially a small amount like a one dollar 
for the verification purpose and it will be reversed immediately immediately as soon as the verification is successful so you don't worry about it uh, uh, to enter your credit card you can go ahead and then enter your credit card you will not be charged a single rupee so as i mentioned that there are few services which you will get always free as part of the oracle cloud account few services as part of the infrastructure you can create two compute virtual machines with one by 8 or cpu and 1 gb memory each two block volume storage 100 gb total 10 gb object storage 10 gb archive storage resource manager at the, at the as a at the management side monitoring 500 million ingestion data points notifications service connectors databases uh, you can create the atp uh, instances two database total you can create each with one ocpu and 20 gb storage a huge storage which oracle is providing absolutely free the no sql database you can also create as the additional services you can create one load balancer with a 10 mbps speed and an outbound data transfer 10 tb per month so these are the services which you will get always free so you don't need to worry about it after 30 days your cloud account will not be terminated account will be there and then you can use these services absolutely free forever okay so let's get started and see how an oracle cloud account can be created so in order to create an oracle cloud account you need to use this oracle.com website from here click on a view accounts and click either click on sign in to the cloud if you wanted to sign in if you already have an account then you can click sign in to the cloud if you wanted to create a new cloud account click on this so i am i have clicked on this which will take you on to this cloud free page here you can see two buttons start for free and then sign in it is used to sign in it is used to start for free and if you scroll down you see what's included with oracle cloud free tier always free and 30 days free trial you can get few services absolutely free which you can use lifetime if you click on see below for a list of eligible services you will see a page where all the free services are listed which i have shown during the presentation as well if you go above if you uh, you can compare the uh, costing the oracle cloud versus the amazon web services you can see get more with oracle cloud free tier constantly less expensive than aws so oracle is comparing the pricing with the aws so if you click on this you will see you can what can i try with my oracle cloud free trial credits you can get all these things as part of the oracle cloud account under that integration you can create the account a uh, service account the integration soa the manage at the management side content and experience uh, databases uh, application development and then analytics a lot of things you can do with your free account okay let's go ahead and then create an account here click on start for free which will take you to this sign up dot oracle cloud dot com where you need to enter a uh, information like the country i will enter country as a india and then my first name and then last name and here you need to enter the unique email address and the email address will become the username uh, in order to log in into your account and that will become the oracle cloud administrator so i am just entering a unique email address here and click on verify my email if you click on verify my email oracle will verify this account already registered or not if it is not registered then you will be allowed uh, to move forward and oracle will send a notification email to verify your email as well if you go back to your uh to your uh, email address you will see this sign up confirmation email click on this which will take you to another page and your very email will be verified as a next step you need to enter the password it must match with the this policy okay let me just reconfirm the company name it is not mandatory you can enter it 
totally depends on your choice. So this is your cloud account name. This is not a username. This is the unique cloud account name, which will be taken automatically based on the user which you enter here. And this will be used to log in into the Oracle cloud account. I will show you. So you need to remember it. And once your registration will be completed, you will get a email notification on your registered email address with all these information, like what will be your cloud account name and what will be your username. Home reason, the home reason is one of the important things while you create an Oracle cloud account. So home reason is nothing. It is the data center of Oracle's and you can choose any one of them in order to create your account there. So you need to choose it very uh, wisely. Uh, why, um, so basically the recommended approach is uh, if your application organization application up and running in the US data center. So make sure you will choose the US data center. You can choose East or the West, depend where your applications are. Or you can choose a Europe one, Asia specific. There are few data centers in India as well, like like the South, Hyderabad, and India West, Mumbai. So I will choose US East as of now, and then click on a continue. So as the next step, you need to enter the address information. Here you will see the left hand side. It will uh, show you what all information you have entered. Okay, you can just put address line one. Uh, apart from this address line one, all are optional. City is also a mandatory. Uh, I will take the same and then state and then postal code. Click on a continue. So once you click on a continue, you will be allowed to enter your mobile. So make sure you will have this mobile number with you while creating an account. Okay, and then click on text me a code. Oracle will send a OTP on your mobile number. Once you will enter it, you need to click on a verify my code. And once your code will be verified, you will be allowed to enter the payment verification. Let me check if I have received a code I haven't received as of now. If you have not received, you will get two more chances to re-get it if you have not received it earlier. So it looks like there's some issue uh, with Oracle and they are not able to send the uh, code as of now, but let's wait and see. Okay, I haven't received that. So uh, no problem. You, you see, if you already have a verification code for above mobile number and based on your email address, you can click on a verify. I already have one verification code with matching mobile number and this email address. So click on click here to verify code. And then Please verify the code we sent to your mobile number. Let me just enter it. Okay, so what I have done, I have entered the, the earlier verification code and see. Yeah, it's working. Now you see, you won't be charged unless you elect to upgrade the account. This is the important information for you. So while you add a verification method, okay, you will be charged a single dollar for the verification purpose, but it will be reversed immediately. And you will not be charged until and unless you elect to upgrade the account. So just safely, you can add the payment method here. Click on this, and then it will take you uh, to a page uh, where you can enter the credit card details. Okay, click on this credit card. It will show you all the information which you have entered earlier. If you wanted to change it, you can change it for sure. And here you can choose Visa, Master, and then Emacs. You need to enter the card number, expiration date, and then CVN number. And then click finish. So once your card will be verified, $1 will be deducted from your account, from your credit card, and will be reversed immediately. I am not entering it. I already have one account. I will show you. Okay, so this is how, and once you will finish it, your account will be, uh, will start provisioning and you will get a confirmation email on your email address. I will show you how. So here uh, I have registered one, I have created account earlier and you see, you will get the cloud account name and then username. So in my case, the account name was uh, Surinder Jan Jan 26. Surinder Jan Jan 26 and earlier it was a Anko Jan one and this was the username. And here you see the username is this one, the email address. So if you click here, 
simply sign into the cloud, it will take you to the sign in page. Click here. Okay, here you see the cloud account name. In my case, it was Surinder Gen 26. Now you need to enter your username like uh, this was your username, but in this case, the username is this. So you can copy this and then enter it here. And then password. Okay. So if, if your credentials are correct, it will take you to the Oracle uh, Cloud Console page. Here you see you have this left in your trial. Whenever your trial is over, your account will be limited to always free resources. You can click on this uh, hamburger menu where you see all the services offered by Oracle. You can simply go ahead and then start creating your services. Okay, now if you wanted to log in from the sketch, how you can log in, you need to go to the cloud.oracle.com. Okay, and then here you need to enter the cloud account name. In this case, I have Ankujan one, but you have used this one. So you need to use this one and then next. If it is available one, then it will allow, it will allow you to log in there. Okay, so this is how you can create an Oracle Cloud account. You can log in in and other stuff. So guys, that's all for this video. If you like the video, please like, comment, share, and please, please, please don't forget to subscribe my channel in order to get regular updates of my channel. You can view me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and please don't uh, don't forget to look at my Udemy courses, which I have explained uh, during uh, this video. And you can see my blog, https colon slash slash www.taxapper.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.